Well, Evie's pain starts pretty much at birth, and from there, it, the plan's going to change over life because the types of pain change. So in infancy, we deal a lot with the immediate skin lesions. We also deal with a lot of mouth pain. So learning to feed the kids without causing more blistering is as important uh, as anything in managing the pain. Then, of course, wrapping bandages, dressing changes, bathing, and that kind of thing is um, sort of the other great big thing that comes up pain-wise in the babies. And there's a lot of pharmacologic management because you can't do a lot of distraction with a, a newborn baby. So it's pretty much limited to pharmacologic treatments, whether it's an opioid such as morphine or fentanyl or whether it's giving them ibuprofen or uh, acetaminophen and that kind of thing. Now as they get older and can start participating in things and start having thoughts about how the world works, then we can start trying to add some distraction and non-pharmacologic means of, of um, getting them through their bandage changes and their dressing uh, and their baths and so on, because those things are very, very painful. This is like dealing with a chronic burn, all right, or a recurrent burn. So each time something touches a wound, it hurts. And pharmacology does a certain amount. So as the kids get older, we start using oxycodone or hydro, uh, hydrocodone or hydromorphone, some of the stronger opioids, which can be given by mouth or by G-tube because they don't all take everything by mouth. And we add in something very frequently for anxiety because any of us who are going to be subjected to something painful and you know it's coming, are going to get anxious about it. And we run into that a lot with EB. So we often combine the two, which we have to do very carefully because you can get combining medications can be very dangerous. So we have to go very carefully. We'll often add things slowly and go up incrementally. Um, other types of pain besides dressing changes and direct skin pain, as the kids and then young adults get older, they can end up with joint deformities, they can end up with scarring in their esophagus and trouble swallowing, which then need to be uh, dilated, and we provide general anesthesia for that because that would be uh, excruciating if they were awake. Um, they can have um, corneal abrasions because their eyes often don't close just right and they tend to be a bit dry and they, they scratch very easily compared to other folks. Um, so that's another type of pain. We treat that with topical um, agents and medicines by mouth or by G-tube. Uh, other types of pain that come up involve a lot of issues with constipation. And that's uh, one is it's difficult um, to often to pass stool, that is to say to, to have a bowel movement because you can get perianal tears in the skin just like you can get wounds anywhere else. And so that's not a big incentive to go have a bowel movement. So a lot of times as the kids are young, they avoid going to the bathroom because it's gonna hurt. Um, and often if it's hard to swallow, they don't have good nutrition because certain things hurt to eat more than others. And so they tend to be constipated and then they have belly pain. So we're talking about a pain, a, a disease that's listed as a dermatologic disorder, but it's a full body disorder. And so as a consequence, you can get pain almost everywhere. Because of the nutritional issues that I was just talking about, where they're not eating and drinking all the right stuff and they can't exercise the same way, their bones can be soft and brittle and you can have compression fractures in the spine and those two can be a source of pain. So in EB, almost everything can hurt and there's a number of ways of taking care of it. Pharmacologic, as I mentioned, and we use a lot of psychological techniques they are the same techniques that we would use for almost anybody else because they work. The pharma pharmacology end of things tends to be more intensive with opioids because of the, the acute nature or the recurrent acute nature of the pain, which responds much better than, say, a chronic uh, pain of a different sort.